and welcome back guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you my dog. Well, one of them. Say hello, Blue Bird. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. In today's video, we're really... Oh god, that's actually slow. We're going to show you my setup. And this is my setup. Uh, quite a basic setup, really, to be honest. Not much special. Uh, got some beast. Wharfdale well, speakers. They're absolute animals. Got a picture of the taxi in New York. I didn't take it. And we've got dual monitors on a dual monitor mount. Rocking the Rainbow Six Siege wallpaper there for a dual, dual wallpaper. It's going to be a bit hard to see because I am using an absolute terrible camera. Well, I can't say it's a terrible camera, but it does 1080p video. Which is good. I mean, you can see my proper camera there. The problem with that is I've only got one lens for it, and the battery's dead. Uh, one lens, and it's a long, well, it's a kind of a mid range lens. I'd have to stand at the opposite side of the room to use it. And it's a fixed focal length lens, so there's no zooming in or out on it. And it's manual focus as well, so there's, <laughs> there's that as well. I mean, this camera's automatic. I bought this camera for this purpose. Right here we have a Gears of War figurine with a head splatter. I absolutely love that. Just put the head splatter on it with a gun. Uh, a little bag of treats there. <laughs> got a couple of remote controls there. I've got my right here. I've got my Logitech G105 keyboard. And right here my Logitech Logitech G502 mouse, which is an absolute beast because it goes. It goes to like 12,000 dpi, which is why I like it. Right here, we're rocking my microphone. This is a Blue Nessie. Now, this microphone is very unique. In the... Well, it's kind of got its all... The way it's unique is it's... Well, it's built into a stand. It's got a headphone out jack on the base. So you can actually uh, monitor it at the same time. Which is great. But I don't use it, because it's crap. <laughs> to be honest, uh, the headphone out jack. Well, I've never actually tested the headphone out jack, to be honest. Uh, you have a little touch-sensitive mute button there, which is very handy. And on the back is a little switch. On that little switch is... Basically, it's got three settings. You've got raw audio file, which is basically... Uh, just basically your standard audio. And then if you flip the switch once, you get a like a radio presenter voice so you get a is that's what I use mainly uh, and then you've got the other switch which is basically for like singing and uh, doing your doing uh, musical instruments and stuff like that and hooked over the uh, microphone which I use as a mic as a headphone stand which is brilliant when I'm not using it I have a pair of Rockat I think that's how you say it, Rockat, Rockat, uh, XTD 5.1 analog. I absolutely love these headphones just for the fact that they are true 5.1 headphones. Which means it's actually got this in each ear, there are three speakers in each headphone. So that's six speakers in total. And they're absolute animals. Especially in stereo mode where you, well, especially in any mode that has, well, there's a lot of bass. Now my dog's chewing on a bone right now. It's kind of uh, getting on my nerves. And I'm guessing it's get. You could probably hear it as well. And my other dog's kind of climb under the table. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, hey, get out from there. You come on, get. Out. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, as I was saying, the headphones absolute beast. Great in any game, really. Battlefield. Absolutely brilliant. Any first person shooter, they come in absolute key just because you can pinpoint like crazy. And with those headphones, if we trail the wire to here, they come with like an inline remote. And there are four little wheels on this, four little d dials, just say. And each one controls, say, uh, the sub, the rear speakers, the front speakers, and the center speaker. And then on top, you have two switches one for the microphone and one for. Uh, like a movie or game mode sort of thing but really even when watching a movie 
you want it in game mode it just sounds so much better and as you can see here the custom computers, computer here uh, it is actually in Alienware which I know most people say Alienware absolute crap never buy them but I got an absolute bargain uh, didn't cost much at all the graphics card actually cost more so I've actually I'll show you inside the computer in a bit if we zoom in here we've got our Sound Blaster Omni 5.1 now this is an absolute beast as well com com if you add it with the headphones because basically the headphones that inline remote for the headphones is a preamp and basically so is this external sound card it basically preamps as well so basically you got twice the volume and it's an absolute animal uh, you got a little red light on top you got a little uh, volume knob which you can push to mute or whatever uh, you've got the infrared sensor you can just see there you've got three jacks on the front <coughs> for anything we could possibly need but I've got all the wires plugged in the back uh, it's absolutely animal software is absolute key with it and it even comes with a remote control and remote control is brilliant because it allows you to while I'm watching movies or even YouTube just be able to skip videos whatever <clears throat> my voice is getting a bit fucked up right now because uh, a bit of a cold and if we come up here to the monitors now these are Acer uh, they're very cheap monitors to be honest <laughs> very cheap uh, they are Acer K242HL but they are the uh, HDMI versions which have one millisecond input lag so it's they're very good for the price you pay for them they're very very cheap the only problems with them is the stands they come with there's no adjustments whatsoever and they're horrible and the actual uh, you see the actual plastic frame that goes around them it's an absolute nightmare because they're just terrible putting the two monitors together is impossible just because there's like a even as they are now they're overlapping but yet there's still a gap in between it's got a little light shines through at certain angles uh, I'm getting, trying to get used to this camera now <laughs> uh, so they are really good monitors and one thing that's good about them over other cheap monitors well over any monitor really is uh, they are 60 Hertz which most people see as a downside but there's no screen tearing so when you go above 60 Hertz uh, there's no screen tearing I've never noticed any screen tearing on these monitors whatsoever and they're absolutely brilliant they really are, they're absolutely brilliant monitors uh, they were cheap as hell uh, got them from Argos well one off Argos's eBay which was cheap, like 30 quid cheaper which was absolute key but the other one like I had to get from store I did have three of them but one pixel went dead and I decided don't really need three monitors there's not enough room on this table for it anyway so I just took it back for a dead pixel got my money back so that's what's good about Argos you just take anything back without any problems I zoom out here so these these two wolf deals are absolute beasts absolute animals I'm telling you there's two smaller Technic speakers on top no that's only four speakers I have 11 in total <laughs> there are a lot more there's like six behind me and then there's the uh, super front of the table hang on <coughs> uh, the subwoofer is an absolute animal I tell you when you go for selecting speakers when you're looking for good speakers go for uh, Philips Philips they sound cheap most people think they're cheap because they are cheap but they're actually absolute beasts especially if you can get some with a uh, Wux technology now Wux technology is it's basically like a bass reflex sort of thing uh, you have like on my subwoofer there's the subwoofer facing down and then on the front of the subwoofer there's like this plastic sort of thing it's plastic ribbed thing so when the subwoofer bases the air pushes the plastic creating louder bass so you get, you get even, you're getting even more bass out of it really it pushes the bass limit as far as you can go uh, uh, well I guess we can 
uh, yeah, there is there. On the underneath the mouse mat, I do have. Let's get in closer, shall we? Because it's on better shots. I have the Rocket Sense Meteor Blue underneath there. As there is the bloom. I'm gonna get some good shots of these uh, headphones, shall we? Nice Rocket's here. Yeah, it's a rock out over the top, very comfortable to wear, very comfortable. Here we've got the Logitech keyboard, G105, again, it's a cheap keyboard, very cheap keyboard. I wouldn't, well it's okay if you're on a low budget, it's a great keyboard if you're on a low budget, it really is. Uh, the lights aren't very bright, on this camera obviously they are, but they are actually terrible lights. They really are terrible, and the G keys, the uh, macro keys here, they don't always work, especially when in a game. They work outside of games, but as soon as you go into a game, they shite. Here we have our remote controls. This one here being for the uh, sound blaster over there. This one being for my ampli Denon amplifier, which is behind me, and this one being for my lights, so I can change to whatever color I want. So over here, I've got a few pens and a pair of earphones for when I use my phone. This is my home. This is where I was born, the Isle of Wight. I don't live there anymore, but I will do. Here we've got some uh, cog tags. Cog tags from uh, Gears of War. They came with a figure. Here we've got some, uh, when it focuses, Battlefield 4 dog tags. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, you, can go, you can see my camera. You can actually see here, you can actually see all these lights glow. Yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. Samsung X5, absolutely brilliant camera. Very good, you can get them really cheap on eBay now. Mirrorless. Absolute beast. That's the uh, stand. The stand's by uh, Zenta. Zenta. And I wouldn't recommend it, not unless you've got 14 inch monitors or you got clear you got clear space behind the back of your TV, behind the back of your table, should I say. Right, cables I've tried to manage as well as I can. There's a bit of 